going back to the Unleashed, I'm your host, Jared Beeler. Uh, this video is going to be quick, but I wanted to uh, throw out a few things I thought were interesting and I've just been kind of looking at and uh, paying attention to <clears throat> right off the start. Um, you guys know on Savon's second, I was told and given my confirmation, right? And my little brother, 30, 31, 32 days later, on to uh, Tomas 3, was given him his confirmation, right? And uh, I've looked back a little bit on dates or on times when I was told, you know, it's almost time and stuff like that. And they, don't, they aren't significant, but these two dates are significant, and I thought it was very interesting. Um, Savon second being marked uh, when uh, Israel is told to prepare because uh, God's about to show up and they're about to be priests and stuff for him, right? And uh, they're given a warning, right? And I can see a correlation on that very date that I was told, hey, time's up, God's coming back. And, uh, and I can see how this could line up, you know, and, uh, and make sense, um, especially to give a warning for people. It's been a year now. Um, that uh, that he's coming back, right? And I can see a correlation to that. But what's the correlation with uh, Tomorrow's three? My brother got his confirmation the same day that Joshua prayed to God, and time stood still uh, for a day so that they could win that battle, right? And I thought that was pretty amazing because it's like these are two very significant days, and uh, I did not know the correlation with my brother's um, Tomorrow's three, which is going to be July second this year, okay? And uh, I don't, I don't know. I've thought about it. I've prayed about it. I've looked, and you know, but uh, the answer might not come till later. Um, but I find it very interesting because uh, those are two very significant dates, and I can see a correlation with mine and how it makes sense, especially for a warning. Hey, to get ready because uh, God's about to show up. Um, but uh, the Joshua one, which is very significant, uh, the same day that my brother got his confirmation, uh, I don't yet know what that one is. And uh, it's very interesting, but it very well could be lining up to that weekend of July 4th. I recently heard uh, a couple dreams uh, that people saw Washington go up with volcanoes and stuff like that and fireworks going off at the same time being on July 4th. And... Uh, I listened to a couple comments where people wrote in. They had the same thing from some years back and stuff. And, uh, and I thought it was interesting. Honestly, it could happen at any time. I listened to a, a death experience from somebody the other night. And uh, they were talking about when they died, they were taken to heaven, stuff like that. God warned them when they came back to uh, tell them that uh, there's another pandemic that's going to be a million times worse. And, uh, of course, all this stuff lines up with inside the tribulation because we know they have it planned. We know that... Uh, Anybody who's taken or messed with that has their immune system wiped and uh, anything that comes through now is going to take them out and stuff. But uh, there's another one planned for 2023, right? And uh, it's basically going to be world-ending stuff that looks like the tribulation, which I already agree and think because I think it does start uh, either this next year or year, all right? Uh, what calendar it's most likely going to go by the, the civil one from the Jewish one that starts the 28th of... Uh, of uh, September this year, Rosh Hashanah or whatever, which also uh, marks out um, seven years since the last supermoon was over Israel and stuff. Mm, it's very interesting. Another thing that I just saw yesterday that was uh, very interesting was that uh, the two cows that were spotted in Israel um, seven years ago that had the sevens on their head representing the, the warning that uh, that was given to Israel back that there'd be seven years of plenty and then seven years of uh, you know famine and disaster and stuff like that and now it's marking that point coming up I believe to either today or tomorrow um, and another thing that that is also lining up with is uh, this planetary alignment and I've been looking at it, and I thought it was uh, really uh, unique how this is uh, all come about right now, and all the planets can be seen on one side, like the, you know, almost like kings or something like that, getting ready to uh, uh, to uh, observe or whatever. So the other night, I'm reading Narnia, right? I've uh, wanted to read all the books for a long time, and uh, and I started um, back a year or two ago or whatever, and, and I stopped. And just recently, I just finished. I just actually finished it up last night. Uh, but the last two books... And uh, anyways, while I was reading the last one, uh, you know, the king's talking to one of the centaurs or whatever, and they're talking about Aslan showing up, and there's a fake one at the time that's uh, that's uh, trying to deceive everybody, right? 
Well, anyways, he tells them that, uh, you know, they watch the stars and everything like that, and if he was going to show up, then there would be signs in the heavens. Men lie, but uh, the stars, the planets, they don't. And uh, if he was going to be showing back at that time, just like the other times before, uh, there would be, like, a grand alignment, and they would all be there to show their presence and stuff like that. And, you know, the book being, you know, fictitious and everything like that, I thought it was very interesting because it, it got me thinking literally about this lineup right now. Um, you guys already know where I stand on this. Uh, this is so far into overtime. It's unbelievable. This should have already happened, right? And uh, and yet it has, and we're still waiting and stuff like that. And, and now this alignment that's also taking place, which also marks a significant time since uh, Israel got those two uh, cows that had the sevens on them. And also, and also uh, you know, we're in the same time period that uh, the the last uh, super moon that was one of the blood moons of the four, the Tetrad, that won't be happening again for years, uh, is lined up for this uh, fall in September and stuff like that. We're, we're in a time frame right now, in, in alignment uh, that's pretty amazing. And uh, and I was looking at that and just thinking about it. It's like how unique that the planets are all lined up right now, almost in like the same way as like, uh, you know, as uh, if they're playing a representation of kings or any sort of reference like that in the stars and the heavens, uh, that they're all lined up right now, uh, right before the, the rapture is about to happen, the tribulation starting. And I think it's uh, possibly very significant to that, uh, but but very unique. And uh, it's just a couple of things that I've noticed recently and, and then watching and paying attention to, but... Uh, uh, time will tell here how close it is and what it means. Like I say, I still don't understand the significance yet of my brother's confirmation. And that being at the same time that Joshua prayed that time would stand still uh, for that day, for that battle and stuff like that. Um, I very well uh, could be something that's only understood after. I'm not quite sure, but uh, I thought about it, prayed about it and stuff like that. But I, I surely know that time is about to be up. It's so close. And, uh, and really, that's just the latest right now on uh, where all this stands and stuff. Um, but, uh, honestly, I don't think that it's much longer, and, uh, I really, uh, I don't, I don't know, it could happen any time between now and pff, September or whatever else. Uh, I absolutely think that the tribulation is starting either this fall or, or, uh, going into be next year. Um, but because the tribulation, I believe, and have stated for a long time, starts in the fall, um, I believe that it, uh, it will, uh, It'll probably start this fall the way that it looks. If you guys have heard anything about the diesel shortage and stuff like that, being eight weeks out, you know, from additives and things like that, um, it looks like they got the whole thing in order to collapse it, and, uh, and it's going to be starting here real soon. Of course, you know, with war and everything like that, they could kick off at any time. I mean, this thing's primed and, uh, and ready to go in every single way. And now for all the planets to be lined up at the same time, uh, you know, it, uh, it seems very significant like very very significant as well and uh july 2nd is coming up i don't know what's going to happen then if anything you know but uh as all i know is that uh me and my brother's dates that we were told what we were shown which is astronomical as it is also happened to land on extremely significant jewish days and uh and it very well could mean something so uh i just wanted to share that you know um but uh but a lot of the signs seem to be coinciding right now and uh, it's uh, it's pretty interesting to uh, watch it and see it happening, um, but only time will tell. We'll see uh, we'll see how this goes, and uh, what's going to take place here real soon. But uh, I don't think it's going to be much longer. So uh, continue to hang in there and uh, and keep looking up because uh, it looks like this thing's about to be over. But uh, that's the latest and greatest, and I just wanted to uh, get on here for a few minutes and talk about it. And uh, share what I had and, and kind of what I was thinking with this, but uh, it looks like it's all lining up uh, to be very significant, and uh, and it can literally happen any time now. So um, keep uh, keep watching and looking, but uh, but uh, don't give up. Hang in there. All right. Talk to you later. God bless. Bye.